Hey YouTube, Phil Baumhart here. So in part one of my coil spring knife video, I had been working on shaping the edge bevel. I found that the steel was just too hard to work with, so I decided to anneal it. So to anneal the knife, I took a pot of warm wood ash, warmed it over the forge, while at the same time bringing the blade to a critical temperature to the point where it would not be attracted to a magnet. Then I put the knife into the ash to cool. The warm ash allowed the blade to cool off slowly, and in this way left the steel in a softer state, which makes it easier to work with. It might be hard to tell from the video, but the blade was much easier to work with after annealing, and I could really feel a difference as to how well the teeth of the file were digging in. So I've got the primary uh, bevel completed on both sides of the knife. So now I've got the false edge that I'm gonna make using half round, double cut, no bastard file. Today I'm also gonna quench the coil spring knife, so uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I got a pan of uh, vegetable oil. Or I'm, gonna, I'm using vegetable oil because I, I plan on using this possibly as a food preparation knife, and I don't want uh, you know petroleum-based products in there. So first, I'm going to just heat up the oil, and I got to get the, the knife itself hot enough so that it does not attract the magnet. There's what it looks like. The uh, point actually started to melt off there, unfortunately. So, but it seems like the quench worked. I mean, the file isn't biting in there, so I think that overall it was a success. Hopefully, I can should be able to just work this point down just to. So here's what the knife looks like after I tempered it. I just set the oven at. Uh, 400 degrees, let the knife heat up in there, left it in there for about an hour, took it out, let it cool down, and then uh, repeated that three times. It's what's called a triple temper. And you can see that the blade has got sort of a brown patina to it. You can see through the black of the quench. But on the actual steel itself, you can see it's kind of got a brown patina to it. So that means that the temper worked and the blade should be at a nice balanced heat treatment so not too hard not too soft and it should hold an edge fairly well without chipping out and breaking so i've been working on making a handle from a coil spring knife uh kind of been experimenting and so what this is is a piece of hardwood flooring it's uh, some scrap wood that i pulled out of a dumpster So I've got the handle shaped the way that I like it. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna drill out a hole for the tang there. And I've got this kind of jig set up um, so that the drill should be right on level with where I want it to go in the handle. And the drill bit I have is about the same diameter as the width of the tang. So the size should fit pretty nice. So we'll see how it works. So to stain the handle, I used four coats of Minwax Provincial to darken the color. And then I added a final coat of Golden Oak Stain and Seal to give it a brighter luster. And then to clean up the blade prior to sharpening, I used my trusty sandstone rocks. So I'm going to start the process of sharpening the coil spring knife here. Uh, and right now everything I've done thus far on this is all done with the file and this will still kind of uh, this will take some fingernail uh, off uh, but I've got a Norton medium fine stone this is the medium side here and I've got a solution of watered down simple green that I'm going to use to 
lubricate this. So I've got the knife sufficiently sharp just on the, uh, the medium edge, just the medium side. You know, that's not bad. Now I've got the stone flipped over to the fine side and uh, I'll put a little bit better edge on that. Okay, so now that I got the blade sharp, I'm gonna glue the tang into the handle with some JB Weld. Okay, so here's what the finished coil spring knife looks like. I've been using this for a while, just testing it out as a, basically a kitchen knife, food preparation knife. I've been uh, cutting up onions, mushrooms, uh, peppers, potatoes. Works really great as an onion knife. That's my favorite thing to, to use it on. Uh, just because of that curvature of the blade, it works really great for uh, chopping and, and slicing motions there. Uh, but it's been a real fun knife to use. It's got sort of a blue patina on it from the, uh, from the onions, I think. Uh, you notice kind of where the blade fits into the handle, I've got that red that red stuff on there and what that is it's actually the polymer from this uh, maker's mark bottle here because they've got this red uh, wax it looks like wax but it's actually a polymer I sort of melted that onto the knife just for aesthetics uh, just to kind of give it some eye appeal uh, and also to hide the JB weld um, and the kind of the hole that I made from where I fitted the knife onto the handle well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video of me making this coil spring knife Really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time, be more Viking.